Hey guys, welcome to a handover tutorial video on the Swift Australian made top class leading edge appliance. Today we're going to be running you through the Swift cooktop, the Swift grill, and finally the Swift oven. This guy here has a three burner gas cooktop with one electric element. We have a grill like so, with no pull out trays because they're already located in our oven. But these trays obviously remove and you've got multiple areas in there as well. But before we crack in too much, Let's work top down. So in all the Excalibur, Musketeer, Life Changers, and a lot of the models, excluding the CRVs, you have a recess cooktop. Recess cooktops are fantastic for a bit of extra preparation area. They look very sleek, sophisticated, and work very well. However, what you gotta be mindful of is this generates a fair bit of heat. So before closing this top, you wanna make sure everything cools down. So let's lift him up. Great. Whole heap of warnings here on the underside of the lid. Um, such as it's a combustible gas unit, lift lid before operating cooker, make sure there's well ventilated areas, all that sort of stuff. Just a few warnings. Now, information on the top of the cooktop, glass lid, great, hot stuff, not a big deal. It's more so the hot stuff going onto the actual bench shops you gotta be mindful of. Now, behind this unit, it's right at the back here. It is stainless steel, it is serrated, it hurts like heck when you get really keen on cleaning. Do not put your hand behind there and whew, you will lose the tips of your fingertips. This guy is a fantastically built unit, but it is something that you shouldn't be putting your hands in there. There's a few safety devices in there which you can tamper with. Do not put your hand through the back. Everything that goes from here will flow into the grill um, as a catchment area, so please be careful. Now, very easy to lift up. This has a front central locking point, and it goes a click like that, and I use one finger and lift and done. Now, just as he was coming up, we gotta listen very quietly. One, click. That guy there is the micro switch. That enables and disables 240 volt coming into the unit via a PowerPoint plug located under our drawers. That controls this guy here. Now we're not plugged into power, but typically if you flick it to six, that'll get hot nice and quick. The switch, which says stove, is the guy that is going to control the PowerPoint, which is located under, you guessed it, our kitchen drawer. Bingo, bango, right like so. So that is the power point that controls that switch. So it, it, without trying to get too explana you know, explanatory on it, oh, didn't put it in right, um, explanatory on it, um, you wanna make sure that this switch here is going to be controlling oh, the power point underneath there. It works as a light switch. So if this is off, that power point's off. If this is on, that power point's on. That's how it works. Operation's very simple, right? So if this is off, this is not gonna do anything. If the power point ain't plugged in, and ain't gonna do anything. If it's not switched on at the power point, this is not gonna be able to turn it on. Make sure this is on, the power point's on and plugged in, and then it will work. That's a very basic operation. Now, what does it control? It controls this, and it controls your fan. The fan is a fan force oven, specifically a 240 volt fan for the fan forced oven. So you've gotta make sure that the uh, 240 is plugged in, you're at a caravan park or an inverted system. We do not recommend using the uh, 240 elements on the inverter. When you're free camping, it will drain a substantial amount of power. Um, and if it's, you're not gonna use the 240 fan or you're not gonna use the uh, 240 elements, potentially just leave this off, leave the power point off, whatever you prefer. Onto the easy stuff. We have burner, burner, burner. Why is it red? So glad you asked. It is a wok burner because the team at Swift love a wok. Um, very easy to identify, helps the guys in the factory know that to fan force is the red indicator there, but also it has a wok burner. Doesn't hurt, not gonna knock it. Completely up to you whether you use it. Normal burner, burner, larger burner. Now, just like you would at home, you press in, you turn and ignite. And it's about 32 degrees in this van right now, so we're gonna leave it on for just a sec. All of them work across the board. Um, you need to make sure obviously the cooktop is up while using it, otherwise it won't work. What if it drops, we're at family van now, pretending. We're cooking, it's great, we're enjoying ourselves. Gas is on, this falls, right? See this boot? This boot here will hit the um, gas stopper and it will come back up and it will cut the gas by pressing this here. Now, no gas comes out, gas comes out. Now, if it drops and you lift it up, for a very brief moment, the remaining gas in the line will continue to disperse. So if you were to ignite, it will fire up again. However, take it nice and slow, you're on holidays, don't jump to that, just let it flow out, turn it off, restart. A lot easier, a lot safer. Making our way down, we have 
a little sticker to symbolize that Australian made, Australian owned and proud of it. These guys here are just in Campbellfield, massive supporters of the industry, family owned and operated, very, very, very tidy system, very tidy guys. The identification plate for this particular unit is located underneath the underside of the unit with all of the serial, all of the SQ numbers when it was manufactured. This is a 19 October 2022, so brand new unit. Now, we have our grill. So to turn the grill on, we turn this guy and ignite, and the grill is on the top, that's gonna work, and then your oven. Uh, take these out before you start a fire. Um, ideally, we're not cooking with plastic lids. The igniter and the piezo across here. Uh, sometimes, you know, people need and require some adjustment on that over a period of time. We're talking after, you know, a few years of use, heat expansion, all that sort of stuff. You can just move them over or get a licensed gas fitter um, or appliance repairer to, to look at it for you. Um, the Unit here has glass fronts. They're a fantastic unit. There's really not too much to go into them. They're secured with numerous screws across all of the side fitting points here. Um, they have spring-loaded doors. They're a very, very strong and stable unit. The guys at Swift are probably the best in the industry warranty. They look after their customers. They look after their appliances, and they'll be able to tell you um, exactly what and how and when you need this unit serviced. Um, they recommend uh, getting the unit looked at after every three years, I believe, through a servicing maintenance schedule. Um, but speak to your local dealer, caravan supplier, or alternatively a service agent for that information. Um, again, it's a gas appliance. It's not something that we want people playing with. Um, and if you believe there's an issue, a warranty issue associated with this that is, is a grave concern, immediately stop, terminate the unit, and speak directly with your dealer, um, whoever that may be, for whatever caravan brand that may be. To isolate the gas in a Crusader, of course we use all licensed fittings. You just turn this unit off and you are cutting the gas and effectively making this unit redundant. That's it, no more gas. So just making the unit safe for operation. Um, much like the MobiCool units, uh, some people decide to take out the rubber trivets in the unit um, for some um, off-road travel, uh, and that just pulls up like so. You can remove the whole lot if you think the roads are gonna be quite full on. Um, it's not necessary, but again, it depends on the driving, depends on the preparation, depends on your use of the van. Um, at the end of the day, it's $100,000 worth of product for yourselves. You obviously don't want headache where you don't need it. I would take some travel preparations, a few pack downs, a four second, you know, pop, bang, sit him on the bed, sit him on the doona, wrap him up, put him away. It's really not that much work, um, not that much of a headache. You're on holidays, you've got nowhere to rush to, so just take it nice and easy. And this, my friends, is the whole demo on the Swift cooktop, grill, and oven. There's fan-forced units available. There's cooktops and grill only available, and they just keep getting better and better. There's more products coming to the forefront of the Swift appliance group every single day. You've got barbecues, they've got slide outs, they've got whatever you need, whenever you need it. If you need us, or you wanna find out more information, have a look at the other videos, or alternatively, like and subscribe for the next one. We'll hope to see you soon, guys.